Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Ariel. I'm one of the Lighting Systems team. Um, I want to welcome you to the fifth installment of the Lighting Systems 20 at 10 webinar series. Today, we have Paul Daly, the Western Regional Sales Manager for Lumen Pulse, and he's here to update us on the Lumen Quad family. Um, we've left some time at the end of the presentation, so please enter any questions you have at, at the end of the um, uh, in the chat at the end of the presentation, and they will be addressed um, when it's finished. Uh, if you would like to follow um, up with uh, Paul, please reach out to your lighting systems representative or click on the link on the 2010 page on our website. Paul, I'll turn this over to you. Thanks, Ariel, and uh, thanks to everyone at Lighting Systems for setting this up, and of course, uh, thank you all, the attendees, for signing in. Um, really quick update from Lumen Pulse today from one of our um, one of our favorite families. It's our our quad family of projectors. Um, kind of hard to talk about the quads without kind of talking about where our projectors began with Lumen Pulse, uh, going all the way back to 2009 when we lost launched our first Lumen Beam, our Lumen Beam Large. And we've grown that family over the last decade plus into an entire family of products. So the Lumen Beam family. Lumen Pulse always designs in families. So we've got that 14 watt Lumen Beam small, the 28 watt Lumen Beam medium, working all the way up to that LBX HO that is 205 watts and cranks out over 21,000 lumens. And then everything in between with the large and the grande. So we always design in families so that we can really dial in the right fixture for the right application to have the right amount of lumens or right amount of candelas for the right application. We don't want to overlight something. We don't want to underlight something. So bringing the right product to the table. And while the Lumen Beam family is a tried and true product line, solid, robust fixture, we have these fixtures installed all over the world. We wanted to have something that had a little bit of a different architectural feel, a different aesthetic, something that was going to blend in a little bit better to that rectilinear architecture that we're, that we're seeing a lot of. So we came up with a new product line of quad family projectors. And quite simply, it's got that square form factor, nice and sleek. We launched the Grande and the Large about a year and a half ago, two years ago now, and then we just launched the small and the medium. So we've really rounded out that family to have that similar approach that we have with the Beam family. So now we're offering the small, medium, large, grande. And that small is going to range from 1,300 lumens or 75,000 candelas. Uh, the medium is going to be upwards of 2,500 lumens, uh, 150,000 candelas. The large, 5,100 lumens up to 300,000 candelas. And then the Grande is around 11,000 lumens and then upwards of 600,000 candelas. So really, again, keeping with that family approach, we've got the right fixture for the right application, not to over-design, not to under-design. We wanted to keep it sleek, something that's gonna blend into that architecture. As you can see here, even the largest fixture, the, the Quad Grande, it's gonna have a depth of less than three and a half inches. So these fixtures are really intended to blend into the environment. We wanna draw attention to architecture. We wanna draw attention to a space, to artwork, not necessarily to the fixture themselves. Well, I can go around all day, and a lot of you folks that are in lighting, we love to look at the fixtures, but at the end of the day, we wanna draw attention to um, the features that we're intending to light. We want these fixtures to, to disappear into the environment. So with that, we've got that minimalistic design um, and without sacrificing anything from a robust product. Um, so we've got that IK10 tempered glass rating, which is the highest rating you can get for a luminaire. Um, the IP66, we've got these installed all over the world, just like our lumen beams. Our headquarters is in Montreal, so we know what the cold what the cold winters are like. And then, of course, we've got these installed all the way down to, to Phoenix, Arizona. So um, they're going to stand the test of time. They're going to um, survive the environments. And then we also have an optional um, CRC application, which is a corrosion-resistant um, coating that we can put on the fixtures in our in-house paint shop. And that allows us to protect the fixtures um, in marine environments and then if there's salt spray from snow removal. So just an option to, to make sure that these fixtures are not only going to stand the test of time from a performance standpoint, but also in the environments that we're putting them in. 
Um, longevity of life is always uh, paramount to Lumen Pulse's design, going back to that Lumen Beam family. But with the Quad family, we still have that dual chamber design hidden inside of this sleek uh, fixture and, and sleek form factor. And we really keep the fixture as cool as possible by keeping the power supply and the LED board separate. That's paramount to Lumen Pulse's design. We always keep those two main components separate. If those two components are combined, if you have your power supply embedded onto your LED board, and that power supply should fail, then your whole LED board, your whole fixture likely is gonna be scrapped. So we keep those two components separate for two reasons. One, so that we can keep them as cool as possible, independent of each other, and then also so that the product is serviceable. So if you have this product out in the field for eight, seven, eight, nine years, and should that power supply fail, you can actually get into the fixture and change out the power supply. So doing everything that we can from a form factor standpoint to keep the fixture as cool as possible, pulling that hot air out off of the power supply, letting cool water um, uh, cool the fixture off. It's part of our Lumen Cool technology. Again, um, pushing out that longevity of light. Mounting accessories. So for the small and medium, we have universal adjustment up to 120 degrees. When you're dealing with those really tight angles, those four degree, six degree beam angles, you really want to train that light exactly where you want it. So we wanted to make sure that we had the right adjustability on site. So universal adjustment for the small and medium. And then six degree pivot increments on a, on a tooth system, teeth system, for the, uh, the larger uh, fixtures, the large and the grande. And then of course, mounting accessories. Over 20 different mounting options for this fixture. Everything from your surface mount to um, several different standard size wall mount arms, but we can also do custom wall mount lengths for you as well. Um, we can do EPA ratings to make sure that these fixtures are gonna stand the test of time on your buildings or on your poles. And then of course, you can see on the bottom right there, we have a hidden cable channel through those wall mount arms. We all get tired of looking up at fixtures and seeing that the cable has to be zip tied or coil it around the wall mount arm. We have a nice sleek way of doing this, pulling that, pulling that cable right through the wall mount arm and then into your J-Box for a nice clean look. Again, um, why take away from the, the clean aesthetic of the fixture with having cables dangle underneath it. Um, tech pole mounts, we'll, we'll dive into that on the next slide a little bit more. But then, of course, your pole mounts. These fixtures look great on poles. So uh, your top pole mount and your side pole mounts. And then, of course, stake mounts for your landscape applications. Now, with that tech pole, um, we build these tech poles at our factory in Lumen, at Lumen Pulse in Montreal. Uh, we have a four inch, five inch, and six inch tech pole, round and square. And it's a slotted system. So you can see on those uh, images on the left there, you can use a skate system to slide fixtures up and down. Very very versatile. You can put banner arms on there, trash cans, um, signs, whatever you like, and of course, uh, fixtures. So you can have your pull toppers for your site and area lights. And then if you wanted to add a pop of color, you can add in a quad or a beam. And again, it's all on a skated slot system. So very versatile, modular. You can slide those fixtures up and down. And then, of course, accessories for these fixtures. Um, we wanted them to blend into the environment. And then also, we want to be able to, to hide the light source when necessary. So we've got your visors, we've got your snoots, your wire guards, and even your adjustable spread lenses. So you can take a tight beam angle and spread that out to a linear distribution and make those adjustments in the field, rotating that spread lens 360 degrees around. And then let's talk photometrics. Can't talk lumen pulse without talking photometrics. So um, in keeping with our, our focus on, on optics, for our tighter beam angles, we really like to talk about candelas, delivered candelas as opposed to lumens. So upwards of 600,000 lumens for our larger fixtures with, um, with the farther throws with our quad fixture, all the way up to, again, almost 600,000 candelas. Um, and then when we get into our wider beam angles, so our 30 degrees up to 60 degree beam angles, um, we're gonna talk more into the, the lumens and we're upwards of 10,000 lumens with this product line. And then we have a couple different asymmetric options as well. We have a wall wash and a narrow asymmetric. We'll dive into that on the next slide or so. And then with this fixture um, looking great on poles, we wanted to make sure to add some additional roadway optics. So your type two, three, four, and five square optics are gonna be standard with the quad family. 
Um, again, with those roadway optics, we wanted to make sure that we have the clean cutoffs. Um, we can run your EPA and your bug ratings for these fixtures. Um, with the clean cutoff, we offer a silicone cap that sits on top of the diodes, uh, for especially for like our type three uh, distribution where you can get that really nice clean cutoff as you can see on the right hand side of the screen here. For wall washing, um, most of us folks know that there's a lot of different ways to light up a wall. You can flood it, you can graze it, you can use a type beam angle for contrast, and of course, wall wash. So we've got all the different tools in the toolbox for your wall wash op options. Um, it's gonna depend on what your requirements, are, how big the wall is, what your spacing is, what your setback limitations are. And then we've got the right fixture for each application. So your small, medium, large, and uh, grande. And again, that's why we have that family of products. So you're not stuck to just one fixture size that you have to tilt around and aim and have the right setback. We wanted to make sure we have the full family of offerings so you have the right fixture for the right application. Reach out to Lighting Systems, reach out to me and if you have any questions on spacing setbacks for these wall wash optics, we can provide IES files and really help you guys dial those in. And a new optic that we're super excited about is our narrow asymmetric optic or we call it the, the column lighter. And Similar to, to lighting up a wall, there's a lot of different ways to light up a column now. Um, you can use a really tight beam angle, a four degree or a six degree to create nice contrast and accent light that column. Or if you want a little bit more even uniformity across that surface, you can now use the narrow asymmetric wall wash. Um, same rules apply that we have for um, the standard wall wash. Reach out to Lighting Systems, reach out to me if you have any questions on setback spacing. Again, you can see on the bottom left hand corner there, we've got the right fixture for the right application. Again, not to overlight, not to underlight, but to dial it in just right. Um, full offering of the product family is highlighted here. Again, everything from that really narrow four degree beam all the way up to your wider flood optics, um, your asymmetric optics, and then of course your type two, three, four, and five square optics um, for your area lighting. And then all the different mounting options, um, your static whites, your static colors, and then of course all of the, uh, the different tunables that we have, tunable whites, and then color changing RGB, RGBW. On that note, we do have a technology update from Lumen Pulse as well. Not limited to just the quad family, but we did just increase all of the outputs for all of our color changing products. So that's interior for our Cove and our Lumen line, exterior for our beams, our quads, and then our Lumen um, facade fixtures. So we've upped the outputs on all of our color uh, changing fixtures. We now also offer RGBW as a 3K option and 4K option, so you can specify your specific white. Um, but again, upping the outputs for all of the color changing, we're, we're not stamping it with a 10% or 25 or 40% increase. It's going to vary by product line, by optic, by size of the fixture. So if you're using a one foot lumen facade or if you're using a four foot lumen facade or a lumen quad small or a lumen quad grande, the output increase is going to vary. All of our IES files are updated on the website. Um, again, across the entire product family, even including some of our roadway um, bollards and um, um, uh, elements as well. And then, of course, whenever we do an update with, um, with boards and with outputs, we want to make sure that we're honoring um, the existing products that are out in the field. So Lumen Pulse has been building fixtures since back in 2009. And we've got a lot of product out there. So let's say you have 150 linear feet of color changing product on, on an existing installation and due to vandalism or something, uh, two fixtures are now out. We shipped that product four or five years ago. We wanna make sure that we are able to derate in the field down to the, down to the existing product line that you have already installed. The last thing you want is that 150 linear feet and then we send out two new fixtures and you have the really bright hot spot. We can now program down to legacy mode. So we just need to know and we can find out on our own um, what, the, what the ship date was, what the generation of the boards are that are out in the field and make sure that we're programming the fixtures appropriately to make sure that they're gonna blend into the environment. Again, we wanna make sure we're honoring um, the existing installations that are out there um, from Lumen Pulse products in the past, the legacy modes. And to kind of wrap it up, to go back to the quad family, this is a snapshot of the entire offering. So again, we've got that quad small, the quad medium, 
quad large, and then the quad grande. And we're going to be ranging from 1,300 lumens up to 11,000 lumens and all the way up to almost 600,000 Ken dollars with the grande. So it's a really nice product offering, rounding out that family in the same way that we did with the Beam when we, also, when we started this back in 2009. Can't do a, a presentation on product without at least showing you guys a couple different application shots. This is a bridge that we have some quad smalls on up in um, Boise, Idaho. And this is down in South Carolina. This is a really cool installation in, in Greenville. And they wanted to do a, a, pop, of, uh, a pop of light on this uh, installation and it's in honoring the desegregation of schools. So um, this is a really nice art installation with, um, I believe it's 19 quad grandes that are lighting this up down in South Carolina. And then a really cool application as well here. This is showing that that column lighter, that, uh, that narrow asymmetric with some quad grandes. And then thank you all for attending. Um, I'll open it up to questions at this point from, from anybody that has it. Excellent, thank you, Paul. Uh, we do have a few questions. Um, first one is, are, are there any issues with condensation on the interior of the fixture? Great question. So these are factory sealed at IP66. So we do, uh, we actually call it lumen seal. And that's something that uh, you know, if you, if you um, so talk to folks from Lumen Pulse long enough, you'll learn that everything is Lumen something, Lumen facade, Lumen talk for one of our protocols. Um, and then Lumen seal is a proprietary technology where we actually suck all of the air out of the fixture um, prior to silicone sealing the, uh, the, the glass lens on it. So um, we shouldn't be seeing any condensation on the inside. Okay, um, a couple more questions. Um, to LumenTalk, can LumenTalk be used with RGBW or tunable quad for controls? Yes, we can do that with the quad large and the quad grande. We can do it as well with the small and medium, but it's we have to do a remote system. So with LumenTalk, there is a device called a Lumen Ear that sits inside of the fixture. So we have to have the right amount of space inside of the fixture to allow the fixture to listen to that high frequency signal that's coming over the existing power lines. And we're limited on that space due to thermal management. So that medium and small, we just have to remote that Lumineer in a different device. So it can be done, but it's much easier and it's, um, um, it's integral in the quad large and the quad grande. Great question. And yes, available for tunable whites and all of your RGB, RGBW applications. And if anybody wants to take a deep dive into Lumen Talk, uh, please reach out to Lighting Systems or myself. Happy to set up uh, a, a time to talk through that. Okay, it looks like we have a couple more. Um, what's an approximate max height um, for an even wash with the Lumen Quad Small? For the small, so if we go back, for the small, we're gonna be reaching upwards of, you know, for that narrow asymmetric, 12 feet for even illumination. But if you get into those tighter beam angles, we're showing the grande here, but we're probably gonna be in that 100 foot range, 150 foot range for, for a tight beam angle. And for a wash with the? And then for a wash with the small, we're looking at about 12 feet. Okay. Um, optics question, are the optics the same between the lumen beam and the lumen quad? Great question. For the most part, yes. So your standard flood optics, so those tight beam angles working up to your, your wider beam angles and then your asymmetrics, um, those are all going to be available in both families. The roadway optics, however, are exclusive to the quad family. So your type 2, 3, 4, and 5 square optics are only going to be in your quads. Got it. Um, looks like... That's about it. Questions? Um, okay, well, before we wrap this up, a uh, quick reminder that we will be giving away two bottles of excellent wine uh, for attending um, one of the first successions. Uh, it'll be a great addition to your upcoming holiday get-togethers. Um, and I just want to thank everybody for attending. We want to thank you all for attending, and we look forward to seeing you at the next 2010 on December 8th.
with Marion Cassidy, who will be presenting the Birchwood IQ 225. If you guys have any questions, if anybody has any questions or lighting needs, please reach out to us and have a wonderful holiday. Um, and thanks again. Thanks, everybody.